Ladies and gentlemen, Borals and McGorals, I will be your host. Goblin bombardment? I wonder what we do with that. Chris, did those emojis mean you had beef tongue for dinner? Horst? It was the horst of times. It was the borst of times. I have no idea what to pick here. Can one of you guys tell me what to pick? One of you tell me what to pick. Actually, Josh had a mono red stipulation. What if we mono red and we goblin bombardment here? Because it's. I was. Counterspell was literally what I was thinking. I mean, that was my go-to, but I was like, maybe I'll branch out and take this Goblin Bombardment. I'm taking Bombardment. We're going to be bombarding things. <sighs> Light up the stage. I'm about to jump like a candle. Turn in the dream. I'm like a man. Oh, 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 oh. The light stuff. Um, all right, let's do mono red. Let's mono red it for Josh. Ladies and gentlemen, Borals, McGorals, we're going to do a mono red stipulation courtesy of Josh VS. Ooh, Legion Warboss? Uh, I think against... I, this might actually table because triple red is hard. We're going to take the Legion Warboss for sure, especially with Goblin Bombardment. Oh, yes. Excellent. Something, something, dark side. I don't know why I do this. I don't know why I'm like this. Crater Maker? Mm, boring. Aria Flame? Probably not great for Mono Red. Ilhard Razor could be good. Mono Red still means you can play this big fat idiot. Did you just combine Ice Ice Baby with the right stuff? I'm pretty sure I may have done that, yes. That sounds like exactly what I did. Sorry, not sorry. Thank you. It's one of these two. Indominus, thank you so much for the Risa, buddy. Really appreciate it. It is better to be feared than loved if you can... I don't think I said that. Who did say that? What is that, Vito Corleone? Or is that a Goodfellas? Or is that a... Was it Machiavelli? Was it? I'm gonna take two drop. <coughs> two drop seems more relevant. Vyashino... I think it's just too good. Pyromancer might actually come back. I, I don't think we can pass Inferno Titan. Bushwhacker seems great. Let's bushwhack. Thank you. Gamma set with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, it could just be Greater Gargadon. It gives us a lot of sacrifice outlets. Sacrificial outlets, if you will. Which could be good, depending on... Uh, oh, Eidolon? Eidolon's broken. Could also be Ash Zealot, but Ash Zealot's not as good as Eidolon, so. Thank you. Gamma set with another gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. My dude. My man. Ye old big red. Ye old Well, small red other than these guys. Pyroclasm. Sure. I have a new exciting... I have a new shower curtain coming in the mail. Uh, dude, let me tell you something. I get excited about stuff like that, too. I'm like, oh, yes. My, uh... I don't know. Let me try to think of something. Like, I was going to order... My most recent purchase on Amazon was going to be, like, dry shampoo. And I was going to be like, oh, yes, my new dry shampoo is coming. 
Um, I think Firebolt's better. It's two. It's two burns in one. Getting just like household adult stuff is really just nice. It's just fulfilling. Thank you. Third tail with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Chain Whirler came back. Seems like gas. Could you do Monastery Sorcerer? I think it's actually Chain Whirler, though. Chain Whirler is just too good. Let's have his curl. What kind of new shower curtain? Wow. I think Boo Boo the Bear, he wrote in the Uniboo Boo's Manif. What is going on right now? Take this guy. Yes, I was hoping Pyromancer came back. Dire Fleet Daredevil is also good, but I don't want to hope that they have a thing in their graveyard. And this guy just deals two, and if the Goblin Bombarder just easily deals three. I was like, yes, we're doing it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, man. I like writing lists. I'm like, ooh, what do I need? I need new toilet bowl cleaner. I need Windex. Oh, what do I need? I need okay, I need paper towels. And then I just go to the store and I get all these things, and I'm like, yeah. It's just so, it's it's almost therapeutic in a sense. Like I was getting real excited about going to Target because Andrew was talking about those candles, those those wood, wood wick candles or something. And also I needed to get dry shampoo. So I was like, oh, I can get both of these things. I can just go to the Target and get like all of these things at once. And it was like, it's just so, it's, I don't know, man. Buying like adult, adult things, like just super ass boring adult things. Woodwick candles are the best. Andrew was talking about them on the friend on the Friends podcast that we do, and uh, I had never heard of them before. <sighs> All right, so let's sort by converted mana cost. But Bushwhacker, yeah, Bushwhacker can stay there. Lavamancer is good. Chandra is good. It's nice because it, it's comfort. Like, it's comfortable stuff. Like, hey, if something spills, I have paper towels. If I gotta go to the bathroom, I have toilet paper. I have shampoo. I have this. I have that. Like, it's just comforting. Like, it's nice to know that, like... I think it's actually Grim Lava Mancer. I don't care about Molten Rain. These two Planeswalkers don't do much. Could be Course of Portal, actually. That seems very good. Now, so Oral, not only not only not only did you fix the creaking door at the WD forty, but now you have infinite WD forty. So it's now now it's just in your adult arsenal of things that you own. Like, so now if you have a problem that needs WD forty, you're like, yeah, I got that. I got WD forty. Uh, the podcast is available uh, in audio form everywhere: uh, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, and iTunes. So, go go check out Franz with Andrew and I. Um, chain Lightning is great. Stormblood Berserker is great. I think we want the Chain Lightning. Two drops are a little more disposable than three damage burn spells. You raffle over furniture and I'm not moving? Mugabar Balboo, that sounds terrible, dude. I actually, yeah, I buy deodorant in four packs now. And I'm at a, I'm at a point in my adult life where like whenever I can buy something in bulk, I do. So I'm like, well, I can buy this 24 pack of toilet paper instead. That's a good deal. Or I can buy, yeah, Dreadhorde Arcanist seems great for the red deck. Um, or like deodorant I'll buy in four packs. Or like, you know, shampoo I'll buy in two packs or something. Oh, there's a Google Podcast app? Okay, so let's make sure, I'm going to make sure it's up in there too. All right, I will make sure it's up in there. Long time watcher, first time commenter in the Cube Draft on August 31st. You said that your podcast is available everywhere. I requested to be played on my local radio station, KISW, but they did not have it. My question, how do you sleep at night knowing that you're a liar, liar, and your pants are, in fact, on fire? Well, you see, uh, is it Nifty Chris? Uh, well, you see Nifty Chris. Um... I don't have an answer for you. I actually feel like the guilt has overcome me in this particular situation, and uh, all I can do is offer a heartfelt apology. Just ban him if you have no answer. I'm like, well, considering I have no answer, goodbye. 
I like a braid. I think it's P and Karen Alar though, especially with uh, bombardment. I was having to expect you were going to go to the restaurant really. <laughs> so well, see you later. <laughs> That's that would be more of an option if I didn't. Wow, both of these are good. Uh, if I didn't get demonetized as soon as I went to the break screen because of the music. Can someone tell me which one of these is correct? I actually checked in with KSW and they, they indeed have the podcast, but they didn't like Nifty Chris's tone. Yeah, Nifty Chris sounds like a real smug jerk. Is it Koth? Koth or Fire Blast? Can I get one more confirmation? I just want to... Two Koths? Shit. All right, Koth it is. Dang it. I like Fire Blast. Four damage is a lot. Did you guys know Nifty Chris has a beautiful flowing head of hair, but he chooses to shave it just just for fun? Glorybringer or Siege Gang Commander? I think it's actually Glorybringer here. <laughs> Bullshit. He has the most beautiful flowing locks I've ever seen. And he just shaves it just just for fun. It's super weird. Nah, dog, it's gotta go. How old are you? Nah. You've had it you've had it for long enough. I think it's Glorbringer. Chandra Accolade of Flame actually seems good with the Goblin Bombardment. Yeah, we'll take that. We also have a red planes I was like, we also have red planeswalkers. We have a red planeswalker. Oh, Runaway Steamkin? Wow. When you're playing the mono red deck and you get a Runaway Steamkin. That moment. Grim Lavamancer came back, so did the two red planeswalkers. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep my curve a little bit lower. I'm pretty sure it's just Grim Lavamancer. Alright, so we just got it all. Everything we wanted came back, basically. Take the anger. A braid? I wanted the a braid. A braid can go on the sideboard though, because it doesn't it doesn't hit players, which is a big deal. Although when I was a young warthog, when I was a young warthog, I did have a very long flank. I know, that's what I was I definitely knew that. I've seen pictures of you when you were young, and I was like, holy crap, is that for real? Fire blast came back. Oh, we're the only red drafter at the table, guys. Well, I think it's one drop here. And Arc Trail. Wow. <laughs> Last pack is two red cards. Last pack is Arc Trail. Okay. I accept. All right. So now we're going to build our... Oh, wait a minute. There's a whole nother pack. Sulfuric Vortex? Well, that's bonkers. Yeah, that's not even close, really. Magma Jet, PNLR, four damage to a creature. Wait, I'm thinking of Firestorm. Firestorm is good. It's got the Cheetah on it. I was always one of my favorites. I think it's Magma Jet. I like Magma Jet better than Arc Trail, I think. Liquid Hot Magma. Seasoned Pyromancer, huh? Alright, I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take you for a little ride. Take you for a ride. Do -do -do -do. Even our sideboard is mostly red. These packs are just like... I'm just having funsies. Oh, let's Skull Clamp. Oh, wow. Let's 
Wow, that's exciting. I want to take out the Inferno Titan for now, because we can probably play 15 lands. 16 lands, rather. I don't know if Dreadhorde Arcanist, Dreadhorde Arcanist is great yet with only Chain Lightning and Firebolt. He can probably go. This deck looks good. In the next 11 picks, I can only play one card from them. And we snap keep the, the Sulfuric Vortex. Oh yeah, Sulfuric Vortex bonkers. <clears throat> City of Traitors is just, just meh. I think I just want Manic Vandal here. I don't care about Fulminator Mage. I think I'm more, I'm more afraid of artifacts than lands and uh, Braden Manic Vandal should give us a nice, uh, a nice little package against the artifact decks. Zealous Conscripts. Well, she. That's got to be one of the burst lighting, right, guys? Plus, burst lighting's just gonna come back anyway, so whatever. Who cares? Oh, is there a Shrine of Burning Rage in the pack? My God, I got the blinders on. I got the red card blinders on. This Chandra could just be very good. I don't think we need to release the Gremlins. I think we're just taking the Chandra and maybe we can play it over something else. I don't know if we're a Bushwhacker deck. Stromkirk Noble? That guy's infinitely better than Gorger. Sorry, Gorger. In Experimental Frenzy's nice, but we have Coercive Portal already, so I'd rather just have the better one drop. Oh, boy. Pyromancer? It's not Sweltering Suns, it's not Spellskite. Yeah, we'll just take Pyromancer. Wow, this is this deck is looking like 60 cards almost. PNLR? Sure. I wanted you already. So the problem with the 60 card draft deck, if they're all playable, is that there's definitely going to be some cards that are more playable than others. Uh, Sandstone Needle. Yeah, we don't need Kozlex Return. We already have uh, Pyroclasm, and I thought we had like Anger of the Gods too. Yeah, we have Pyroclasm and Anger of the Gods. <clears throat> maybe maybe I don't think we're playing sandstone you know like I don't think we want land stick when to play tapped Brand the Coco.
Play 60 step would be interesting, but not that easy. Like, it's actually super hard. Because a lot of your picks are lands, too, if you're going to play 60 cards. Like, you'd have to do a monocolored deck. Which is possible with this cube. Uh, whatever. Devastating summons. Wow, Shrine came back. Holy bejesus. Well... <clears throat> Okay, we also have Season Pyromancer and Young Pyromancer on the board, which is pretty sweet. Uh, let's group creatures separately. So, 26 cards. We probably need two cuts. Zealous Conscripts is great, but I don't know if this is a cube for it. Like, we can actually board this in. We don't have any combos with it. It's a strong card, but... You can probably cut one spell too, and then just be like 20, 24, 16. Hmm. You're more of a one drop, ideally. But Jesus is going to be a tour of Bjork here soon. Wow, that's crazy. 13 creatures. I really want to cut a creature. It's, we should have a Goblin Barment. What is it good with? It's good with Chandra. It's good with P and Kieran Alar. It's good with Legion War Boss. It's pretty much good with anything. Like, if they try to kill our creature, like, it just gives us a really... It gives us a lot of reach. Chandra's probably the weakest Planeswalker, or the weakest card. I think this one's worse than this one. I think we can cut Portal or Skull Clamp. I agree with that. Yeah, we'll cut the Portal. Yeah, alright. Let's see if this works. 15, nope, don't want that. 16, yeah, let's do it. This is exciting. <clears throat> That's not bad. One drop. Two drop. Oh, we're playing Steamkin first for sure. Okay. Is it just Steamkin or is it? Might just be Vortex here. Ah, they have a bunch of creatures on the board. I want to play Steamkin into Chain Lightning, I think. Actually, I might not even have a reason to play Chain Lightning, because next turn we're going to go Chandra into Chain Lightning, which lets her untap. But we're not going to be able to activate it. I 
Um, it's possible we could have Chandra this turn. So we need two more counters. If we can get two two drops, we can actually go like, or uh, one more two drop, we can go Eidolon, two drop Eidolon into one of these two, which is pretty good. <laughs> sure. You got it. Yep. Uh, the reason I want to play Sulfuric Vortex, uh, in case anyone is wondering, is because I don't want to just get slammed by this and this. <clears throat> Like, then we take five, six, seven, and, like, this is just a good threat by itself. So I really want to be able to be in control of the amount of damage we're dealing. Gilded Lotus. Fascinating. That's incredible. Well, see you later. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let the damage race begin. That's stupid. Yep, that's hard to deal with. So they can actually block this guy and then activate Guardian to block the Goblin. It's, it's funny because the Grixis cube actually seems more hostile towards the red deck because it's so much more mid-rangey. Like, you can't penalize, like, the decks that are trying to do broken things and don't have answers, right? Because, like, there's cards like Ral's Outburst and Kolagon's Command that are just... You're just going to play them if you have them because it's a mid-rangey cube. If they do something to this guy, yeah, I would just literally let it resolve. It doesn't do anything on the board. All right, bringing Manic Vandal over Chain Whirler. We're bringing a Braid over, like, I don't know, probably Magma Jet.
I mean, the only card we saw that we want to conscript is Nicol Bolas, which I'm not super thrilled about. I mean, we just attack for four. Seven, I guess, if you're considering there's no blocker. Mm, seems good. I wanna get physical, physical. Ooh. Fascinating. This seems like a really good start. They're going to put this guy on top. Remand. Uh, destroy an artifact. I don't want them to have double red in case they have like Sweltering Suns or Anger of the Gods. So. And we win the game. One Legion War Boss, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you mono red it. Aggro creature all star mutavault. Yeah, that card deals 16 damage, man. Keep Snapples, McApples. Come on, Stromkirk Noble one time off the top. I feel like Shrine could be very hard to deal with. But I'm no expert. Idle on again. Idle on again. Idle on again. That's obnoxious. Give me a land at least. I mean, if we get a land, we're just probably killing Manic Vandal here. Wow, this is a lot of, a lot of lands. Not a land. Okay, well, that's fun. Not dead, but this puts us in a pretty bad position because they have big creatures. Wow, what is even happening? That's insane. Come on, dude, seriously? I guess they could wildfire. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, they have eight mana. Here comes Colagon's command, kill Eidolon and Shrine. Yep, to the surprise of no one. That was one of your last two cards. <laughs> oh, seems very good. God, lands would be so good, right? I guess we could chain lightning a light at this stage. 
and try to hit some lands next turn. I mean, that is if this Vyashino Pyromancer doesn't get through. The funny thing is they're not really doing anything. Like, hitting four of these is pretty nuts. Us also missing four land drops is equally nuts. Are we trading here? I'm less afraid of um, wildfire for just trading off these guys. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'll pay two. Sure, that's fine. Uh, no. Wait, where's... Wait, what? Wait, what happened to my land? Wait, what? <sighs> That's huge. That's definitely not supposed to go that way, right? Well, definitely snipping that so we can, uh... Yeah, that's obnoxious. Are you serious right now? That's not... That's not okay. That changes the whole game. Like, I could have hit a land drop that turn. I have no way to actually trigger the, uh, the spectacle now. Right, you can't pay, like, part of the cost and then have it go to the next phase and be like, Oh, well, now it's just a thing. Like, that's just not how that works. So, that's super weird. I mean, I guess I can keep my fingers crossed that, uh... That they just don't draw anything relevant, but that was... Really terrible. So, I'll pay one. No. And then you hit no and the mana disappears. That's so weird. What is what is going on, dude? Can I get some lands, please? I ain't even messing around with this lava mancer, dude. Oh, finally. Let's get rid of Chandra. Doesn't matter really. Nickel Bolus, Gilded Lotus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have nine mana, so I don't think I care about their Gilded Lotus, to be honest with you. So we could light up the stage, which I think is fine. And then we can just play these next turn. I mean, this is hoping they just don't have, like, Ulamog, right? Which is possible. Yep. Yep, there we go. Ugin. I mean, that's good. Make a guy, huh? Fascinating. That's fascinating. I'm fascinated. Play land for free.
Uh, attack Ugin the Ineffable and exert. Attack Ugin, attack Ugin. I'm going to go to this guy because he makes it hard to block. And they don't draw cards, so it seems fine. So long, Runaway Steamkin. I hardly knew you. Runaway Steamkin never coming back. Nickel Brolis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, then they have enough mana to flip too. That's ridiculous. I don't think this Chandra is doing us any favors here. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Where's a fire blast when you need it? I mean, they could put like. None of our creatures are great. They could put Ugin or. Yeah, I guess they could put Ugin into play, which is pretty good. Yep, and that's what they do. Kill one of these, and then we have enough to kill Nicol Bolas, which I guess isn't terrible. Nickel Morales. Yep, had a feeling about that. And then we just play PN Karen LR. And then we actually have a pretty decent board here. Hoping they don't just go wildfire make a guy with Ugin. You got. Oh, that was some. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck me, am I right? 
Oh, Jesus. Because of course you draw wildfire. Because of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Makes zero sense that you wouldn't draw that. Oh, look who it is. I don't even want to block this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no blocks. Interesting. Remember that time I was like, they're just going to have wildfire, right? And then they did. Yep, I will take four. Firebolt. Firebolt this guy. Oh, we're basically dead. Oh, we are dead because we can't actually uh, draw cards here. Yeah, I was figuring we could draw cards after post-combat, but that's not how that works. So if we drew cards beforehand, we would hit two mountains. Yep, that's stupid. Good times. Absolutely good times. There's only 16 lands in the deck. Like, I shouldn't be getting mana screwed this frequently, I don't think. We'll keep this in the glory room back. Oh, yes. The perfect draw. We can firebolt, firebolt their face and then play light up the stage, which is not terrible if there's lands. Our record is 0-1 currently. Not ideal. <sighs> this is what I mean about this format. Like, it's, it's rough because, like, they just... It's so... <laughs> Like, it's so geared towards mid-range decks as it is that, like... Like, there's decks in, in the Vintage Cube or the Legacy Cube that just don't have mid-range answers. So, if you dirtle around, you're fine. They're just going to do broken shit. And the good thing about the red deck is that you just go under them and you just beat them at their own game. But in the Grixis Cube, there's so many mid-range options... We have no reason to keep lands in our hands, so. In fact, we have a reason not to in case they have a discard spell. But I mean, like, if they. It does encourage them to play, like, a Thought Seize against us, but they know that we have this, so. Yep. Chandra's been doing some work. 
six damage so far. That's not terrible. Goblin Bombardment would be nice. It's an extra two damage a turn. Although if we end up losing the Chandra, it's an extra zero damage a turn. So, you know. Ugh, come on. Stop it. All right, well, let's see what we got here. I mean, we could firebolt from the yard. We can just hold it though. We have no we have no incentive to do that now though. Does Spectre work with Chandra's? I'm not actually sure. I was wondering that myself. Well, this is a this is a hard nut to crack here. That's not a bad turn, all things considered. I just don't know how we deal with the Grave Titan, so... Well, I'm not blocking this guy. I'm not at a point where I have to block. So we have Firebolt, we have Grimmel Alamancer. I think we just have to survive, I guess? Well, that's pretty interesting. We could play this in negative five. We have like a million mana. Or negative two, rather. And then... Uh, I am, They have four cards and they didn't play anything on that turn. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. This is... Cycling... Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen damage. That's a lot. Hmm. Okay, well, six damage is less. I'll take six. Let's see what you do. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. Figured it was cryptic command. <laughs> uh, one around these two. Sure. I mean, if we could just chain lightning here, now we'd actually be one shy. That's obnoxious. Fire blast? Shrine. Okay, well, we can go block, block, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think we're not dead, but they have three cards, so we're probably dead. Uh, yeah, I'm passing. <laughs> Protects from uh, can't block by humans? Okay, sounds good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now we have to block both things. Yep, they've done the math. <sighs> I mean, we're not dead yet, right? Like if we hit any, come on, one time. Give me like a glory bringer just for funsies. That'll do. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. Magic's a good game. I'm going to let it resolve. Oh, we did it. Oh, oh wait. And the, and the caps log on. I was getting angry. Uh, okay, so. God, I'm really tired of dealing with guardian idols. That guy's a real. That girl, guy's a real dude. Um, could you take his else conscripts and. Could steal his. Grave Titan, I guess. We're in Consumers over Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler just doesn't seem like it does much. Chain Whirler's a great card, but... I mean, in a Grixis queue, I'm not sure how much it does. Like, it kills, like, a bunch of Bitter Blossom tokens. Most of the tokens you find are going to be 2-2s, two -two, I would imagine. keep this hand. This hand actually seems like one of the best hands we've had. Is it Berserker? It's got to be Berserker before Shrine. Like you're... We get two extra counters off Shrine, but that's already negated by the two damage that Stormblood Berserker is going to deal one time. Uh, unleash. This creature has a one on counter. Yes, 100% Unleash. can't. <laughs> Any hit of Vampiric Tutor? Fantastic. Just, just beautiful. Oh, there you go. There you go. The Stardust, thank you so much for the bits, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it.
Ooh. All right. Well, we can chain lightning this idiot, attack for two, and also play Stormblood Berserker, which is nice. Oh, wait, I guess we can't do anything. I've clearly made a mistake. Seems good. How about Legion War Boss? Mountain. We'll get menace. We'll get we'll get bloodthirst one way or another. They're gonna ultimate price this guy. Is that what's gonna happen? That's fine. That is not. So they have vampire tutor and prismatic vista, which is like three damage for us. That's pretty cool. Get in there. So this is like six damage. Puts them to twelve. This is five on board. So 14 plus, this is, no, no, like the soonest we can activate this is we'll be at six, so they're at eight. Tutor puts them to <laughs> six, and then we can just kill them with Toothopters. <laughs> sure. And we also have Firebolt, which adds to this. One, two, three. They could double block, so I guess we actually attack with Pia as well. Because they can activate this and then double block the Stormblow, which means this gets in there if they do choose to do that. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. So go to nine here. I think I'm actually okay with that. Sure. It's three to activate. Yeah, I'm feeling okay about this. Like we can go six to the face, and then we have, with firebolt and these three creatures, I'm not sure what they can do about that. I think I know it can make our deck better. I'm listening. Some islands and blue cards. Wow. Somebody has no respect for, for mountains, clearly. Ugh. Languish. Well, now we're just going to hold the shrine because it's just going to be seven next turn, and then we have a firebolt in the graveyard. So that's game, right? Don't put me on TV. <laughs> oh, no promises. Good times, good times. All right, well, we did it. Do you have my Bane Slayers? Oh my god. Wow. Curtis, what's going on, dude? I only have my Bane Slayers. Long time no see, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'll keep this hand. I mean, it's... It's not better, but it's like... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have even mulligan the previous hand. Oh, well, see, look at that. Sometimes you get a little racky-khaki. And then you get to... 
smacky. What? <laughs> I got nothing here. Oh, all right. Two drop. That is a guess. Kind of like a two drop. Curtis, good luck, man. Good luck in life. Good seeing you, buddy. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna pass here. I'm not gonna just magma jet for like it like for no reason. Alright, so... <laughs> Good times. I used to I used to money draft with my buddy Curtis in uh, multiple stores, like, pretty much weekly. Oh, Remand. This was, like, years ago. God, like, ten years ago. Is this two matches in a row that we're playing against August Augur of Volus people that hit? That's insane to me. What a world, man. Well, let's see if you want to block. You probably do, right? Oh, you for sure do, right? Chain Whirler, I'm sorry I ever said anything negative about you. I apologize. I've made a terrible mistake. I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, this this one if we're playing the one v one game, I'm totally fine with that. If only we had Augur <laughs> why would we want that? We don't want Augur. Stop being like this. I'm trying to kill it. I'm working on it. It's my... I'm just going to play the Chandra again. Is this Rakdos Cackler just going to... Just going to run away with this game? Is this life? No, they just... We lose the, the life. Okay, I was making sure they didn't, like, gain the life. Oh, this is main phase? Um, well, I'll put Dig Through Time and Ancestral and an Island in the same pile. Like, if you take, I don't want you to have this, but if you have this, there's only two going in the graveyard. You can't play, you can play this, but you can't, still can't cast this. Yeah, this is fine. I'll put the card draw by itself. Yeah, so they, they took in Visions, and so now they have Island. Do they play the Island? All right, so now we know they have Dig Through Time. Okay, how much damage is this? One, two, three, four. Okay, so if they don't have, like, a counter spell here, it's pretty good. Okay, hold on. We're going to cough because cough just nets us mana. And a red for each mountain. Chandra. Oh, I didn't. I totally missed. I'm just missing damage left and right here. Well, that's sad. Actually, this, this might have been worse. I'm actually... Create two elementals. I'm not sure. I think we might just mess this up. But red decks are hard, man. I'm um, definitely going to bottom this, but I'll keep the glory bringer for sure. Okay, I think we're good, actually. Because I get to make two guys. Yeah, we're going to fire blast. Okay, so was this one, two, three, four, five, six, puts them to three, and then fire blast would just kill them. Yeah, that's fine. Daisy was crushing it in their first game of the season. No one was wondering that. No one even likes sports in here. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, the plus, that was my point. I was trying to flip the Chandra for the extra two. There was a lot of damage there. What do we see? Like, nothing that we really care about. I'm just going to submit like this. Come on. Seriously. One Stromkirk Noble and six land. I'm going to keep it. Am I? I'm on the draw. I'll never need another land for the rest of the game. I'll probably never draw another land for the rest of the game. Keep no. <laughs> it's like I changed my mind. Oh god. I'd keep done. That's all I needed to hear. Deal. Plus we're on the draw, so it's basically like Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh fuck. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, but... Oh, oh! Oh, shit. That was my response when I hit that first... Uh, when I was like, when I saw that first mountain, I was like... Not great, Bob! However... We're doing okay. Assuming they don't have, like, Toxic Deluge, am I right? Am I right? Oh my god, I thought they were going to miss land drop, but that's still pretty good. Oh, come on. You're going to remand this? Wow. What's it like being the rudest human being on Earth? Man. Where do you keep your trophy? On the mantle? In your bedroom? Nightstand? Rudest human being on Earth. 2019. Hmm. Pilgrim's Eye, huh? I mean, I'm okay with everything that's happening here. If you guys haven't done so and you guys can't... If you guys don't want to spend the five a month on a Twitch Prime sub or maybe you just... Or Twitch... A Twitch sub, rather, and you just don't have... Maybe you just not... You don't have a Twitch account and you just watch on YouTube and you still want to support the channel, definitely check out patreon.com slash franklapore. I've seen a bunch of people go there recently and support the content there, whether it's Twitch streams... Uh, the YouTube content or the cool stuff in content. And it's definitely, it's helpful for me um, because it's a great way if you guys want to play one, two or $3 a month um, and not have to, you know, deal with Twitch or whatever. It's just a great way to support the channel at a lower rate if that's what interests you. So definitely check that out if you want to support the channel and are looking for ways to do it. Yep, that's a hard dude to deal with. Um... So let's do this thing, and this thing, and they have no idea that our hand is mono thing. Oh, we didn't actually activate this. That's, wow, that was good. I'm really good at this game. I was distracted, guys. So they're going to block here, and this just gives them another guy to get back. Ugh. Maybe I'll just put a loyalty counter on it. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I feel so bad. That's a big deal. It's like two extra health. Health? Two extra life. Whatever. It's like it never happened. I meant to do this. This is obviously my my intention. I mean, the thing is, if they want a Pilgrim's Eye next turn, they have to actually spend the mana to do it. Two whole hit points. Man. Oh, they didn't attack. All right, I'm okay with it. <laughs> well then, 
Well then. Oh, that's sad because like, you can just ch ch chump block it with Pilgrim's Eye. Maybe we wait a turn. We can also kill Scarab God, which I mean, they, they get the Pilgrim's Eye. I think this might be fine. It's hard to tell. Oh, you're just going to counter this. Seems good. All right, well. So where do you block? You block here, and then you take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah, the two damage. I'm going to I'm gonna feel like the two damage is actually pr pretty relevant. Uh-huh. Okay. So they're at four. They would have been at two. Yeah. I mean, this is still good for us, I think. I mean, if they want to get rid of the... I mean, they're, they're pretty much locked out of casting, like, three or less spells. Or else this Eidolon's really just going to do the deed. I guess they can get our Glorybringer back. But then they exert to kill something, and then we still have a lot of damage. Chandra by herself. Chandra being at five is pretty good. Because if they do get Glorybringer back, they can't kill it. So it's going to be funny if that... Um... It's gonna be funny if that that plot that plus that plus one actually pays off. All right, so they got Glorybringer. We'll take a point. We'll go to seven. We'll go to sixteen. I'll, I accept. And I guess that's the end. I guess that's the end. I have no idea what happened there. I guess they're like, well, I'm probably dead, so. Uh, I'd like to go back to the game, though. Did they just not do anything? Okay, so what happens here? They go attack, kill this guy, probably. Or, yeah, I mean, like, either one of these is going to kill you. And we would have just drawn another mountain. This would have been good two turns later. Yeah. All right, 2-1 with the Mono Red deck. Thank you to Josh VS for, uh, for the stipulation. Really appreciate it, buddy. And uh, hopefully this went according to plan. And uh, I think it went pretty well. I uh, I think this format's actually a little more hostile to the red decks than normal cubes. But I think it's still uh, obviously very strong. We went 5-2 in match in games. So not too bad. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. Twitch.tv slash franklapore. Cool stuff, Hank and Mana Traders. Those are the links that are in the description below. You can check those out. And I will see you guys next time.